So this video is uh, designed to show you how to uh, make the electrical connections on the, uh, the lightning rods mid-drive kits. Um, I've had a few requests for this and so uh, I'm going to try to provide this uh, to help the people that need help. So first I'm going to go through the uh, through the various components and just sort of point out the connections on um, on each one of them. Uh, this is going to be handheld, a little bit shaky, but uh, hopefully uh, you won't get seasick and you can follow along. Okay, so starting with the motor, um, this is uh, this is the hall plug, and there are five five wires in the hall plug. These are the phase wires. And this is the 10K thermistor temperature sender. That's a JS. That's a uh, two-pin JST. I'll need that. So this is a Leon 18-fet uh, controller. So this is the one that's made for the the big block motor. And uh, Leon labels his wires, but I'm going to go through them anyway. This is the battery positive and the battery negative. If you are running a throttle uh, without a cycle analyst, this is where you, you plug in the, uh, the three pin throttle connection. This is a wire that causes people a lot of problems. This is a switched positive wire. Um, you can either connect it to the battery positive and leave it, uh, leave it armed, or you can connect it to a switch of some sort and be able to shut the controller down. I, I strongly recommend that. So basically you would just run um, run a, a wire from this lead to the switch and then from the switch to ground and that way you can turn the controller off and on. Um, so these are the phase wires that correspond with the motor phases and you'll see on here that on the green wire on the uh, blue wire it says to green and on the green wire it says to blue and that's because in order for linear controllers to work with uh, with my particular motors the um, the hall sequence has to be swapped like this so if uh, if you don't do this the motor uh, will not run so be sure to hook the blue to green and the green to blue and I will show you that later yellow goes to yellow and this is the cycle analyst plug it's a five pin JST that plugs in the cycle analyst and this is uh, your USB programming port. So these are X XT90. This is an XT90 plug. Um, this is meant to replace the, the the wires on the um, on the controller. If you want to use a um, a battery pack like this one from Lunacycle, this is a, a Samsung 25R pack, which I strongly recommend. Um, and it comes, uh, it comes with the XT90s, and Eric provides a, um, a pigtail for you to be able to hook into your controller. It makes it easy. Um, so this is this is a cycle analyst, and it has, so it comes with quite a few connections. This is your speedometer pickup, and that. Uh, there are a couple of zip ties provided with the kit. You zip tie that to the fork of your bike and it reads the magnet. Um, the magnet... The magnet typically comes stuck to the end of the, uh, the USB programming lead. So that's it. It just attaches to a spoke on your bike and that pickup reads the rotation of that uh, magnetic sender on your wheel. So this is uh, the temp sender. It connects to that uh, temperature sender on the motor. It's a two-pin JST. Uh, if you have e-brakes, there's an e-brake plug. So this is a three-pin JST for the throttle. And if you're running the uh, cycle analyst, you have to connect the throttle to the cycle analyst. If you try connect connecting the throttle to the white trainees connector on the controller while the cycle analyst is hooked up, uh, you're going to have very low power. Uh, it just does not work properly at all. A number of people have done that. You can't. Uh, it just doesn't work. This is for a, uh, a pass ring. That's 
it's an extra auxiliary plug. And this connects to the uh, psychoanalyst plug on the controller. So that's those are the main things you need to know for this point. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to take these components now and I'm going to connect them and then I'll run back through this again and show them uh, to you all hooked up together. Okay, now I have uh, the various components all connected to each other. Uh, the motor is connected to the controller at the hall plug. So that's a simple plug-in. Um, here are the phase wires connected, yellow to yellow, green to blue, and blue to green. And it's really important that uh, you isolate, you know, when the motor is running, that you isolate the uh, the phase wires from each other because that is where the high current is running. And if they short out to each other, um, there will be sparks and other bad things will ensue. Don't do it. Either use an insulated um, insulated connector like a gold bullet or get a terminal block at an auto parts store. They're cheap and easy to get. They just cost a couple of bucks. Everybody has their preferences. I keep I keep it this way because this is the way the motors and the controllers are delivered and it makes it easier for me to hook things up and do my bench testing on them. Um, so, let's see, the temperature sender from the motor is hooked up to the cycle analyst at the temp port. So this is um, the five pin from the cycle analyst going to the CA wires from the controller oh, this is coming out here. so see now we're we're really down to battery so these are the the positive and negative power leads and uh, you can cut those and use an XT90 or whatever you prefer um, and then the XT90 just plugs into the battery this is the charging and balancing lead on the battery and then really all that's left is the throttle and I typically uh, I package these with the throttle already connected and put it into the uh, cycle analyst box for you and uh, I mean that's really it it's not extremely complicated uh, if you add the e-brakes you plug them in on the cycle analyst not again not on the controller you only do that if you don't run the cycle analyst um, I mean pretty basic and I hope I mean I hope that's given you enough of an overview that it takes some of the mystery out of it I think uh, people had really um, kind of an unnecessary level of anxiety about it um, things are pretty well labeled and if you just sit down and take a minute you can figure it out but now you don't have to it's all laid out for you if you have any other questions um, please contact me on InSphere or send me an email thanks a lot